Over a century since the Wright brothers defied gravity, flight remains a mystery that captivates the human spirit. The hum of an engine overhead stirs that urge to look skyward, to dream of adventure beyond reach. Even now at 33, I can't help but look up when a plane passes by, imagining the journey above. Growing up, I was just a kid, fascinated by machines, tinkering in the garage, dreaming of wide open spaces like the Wild West. I never thought those dreams would lead me here, flying drones over thousands of acres, living a life I couldn't have imagined. I've done a lot of things in my life. I've worked in food retail, I've worked at the hospital as an RN, even painted houses and built sheds. Each time, well, maybe that's my path. If you told me I'd be leading a team of drone pilots, counting wildlife on massive farms, I would have laughed. When I flew my first drone, everything clicked. Now I'm here on a thousand acre farm in Georgia, using a system I built to keep our team organized and make the impossible possible. This is the hardest thing about doing large projects, herd analysis of this size, is having clouds and forecasting clouds. So what I'm wondering is, are we giving all the data to the manager? No, so each farm's going to have their own data. Okay, So yeah, so then we need to create a separate project for yeah. each farm. Yeah, originally when we sat, the first time we launched, we sat up right here, but they didn't realize that this is kind of, I mean, it looks flat, but this is slightly a grade up. And when we were sitting in here, we could get all the way back here, but we couldn't get far enough back here. So what we did is we ended up moving up in here further, and then we could reach this back in here. They split us up and Jay went like back here further. And then one guy did this section. Hey, Scott. Looks like it might actually happen. I think we would actually prefer to come down, like leave tomorrow evening and just drive through the night and get there early Sunday morning. All of these are high fence, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. So it should be pretty easy to tell, you know, what, what we need to get. Okay, thanks Scott, we'll see ya, bye. We're on Flight Hub 2, we're building out this project here for this thousand acre farm. And we just wanna be as like, really want to be organized when we go into this and so it's really hard to tell sometimes with the lay of the land knowing where your launching points are going to be and stuff like that so you kind of have to guess but everybody has access to this information on their uh, flight controllers it could change some of this could change when we get on site but we're just trying to look at the map see what kind of makes sense and then at least have a foundation to work from that way you're not trying to build this stuff on site and that's kind of why we're trying to do this here in the office I have all of the boundaries already built out. I'm giving you guys the liberty to just build what you think you can reach. And then as you're working on that section, we're gonna do a color code. Hopefully thermals will stay good. Herd census on this scale is a beast. Weather, terrain, and coordination are huge challenges, but I've learned that a solid system mapping boundaries Assigning flight zones and syncing data makes all the difference. Our goal, keep pilots close at first, then spread out to avoid double counting. Ensure every deer is accounted for with precision. We left Saturday evening, and let me tell you, even though our truck was an extended crew cab, 10 hours on the road, driving through the night, reached the first farm just as the sun was breaking, we ate a quick breakfast, and we were ready to hit the ground and cover some acres. And obviously when we're out there flying, we'll be able to see yeah. what's high fence, so. Yeah, you're pretty I close. Was, you look real close. I was, uh, yeah. Have y'all rode the property? I really don't want to, but anyway, that's the main road right there, okay? okay. 
I think he started here and then worked his drone back, or maybe he even started here and worked his drone through here, okay. then moved to there. I mean, it took him a little while. Yeah. So we'll have two guys, you know, come over this area. Yeah. One guy will fly this way, one guy will fly yeah. this way, and then we'll have another guy come in the middle and yeah. probably get this, and the other guy get that. I think that's yeah. the best one to do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Let's get her done. We gotta go here because the sun is coming out and our cloud cover. Were there two of them in that corner? Three. Three. They were more running like straight back towards the next section, so. Okay. Yeah, most of them I've been so far. A lot of those. Still picking out deer pretty easily. Yeah. yeah. There's even more stuff that starts to look like deer, but. Yeah. Turkeys. I <laughs> just saw a whole bunch of stuff walk around. Ah, uh, here we go, some deer. They're moving, two, three. Uh, there we go. That's a buck. Not a big one, no, but... That sun makes it harder to look through the timber. Well, that's a big doe. All right, task complete. All right, we're gonna head back to the lodge now. This is not good. The sun's out full force today, making it nearly impossible to spot deer through the timber. It is so frustrating, but I've learned to stay in touch with our client, explaining the process so they know what to expect. We'll wait for better cloud cover and try again. This is absolutely the worst part because you can't do anything, but you just have to wait. We're going to regroup and talk to Johnny and see how he feels because he was with the other guys. Basically, now we're going to have to just put and hold up until we get some better weather. Talking with clients is what I love most. They're passionate about their land. They could tell stories for hours. And in turn, we get to help them build their legacy and their stories by helping them understand their herds and management of their herds. A few years ago, I helped a family find their lost dog with a drone. And at another time, I found a boy's first deer that he ever shot with the drone. Man, moments like this stick with you forever. And to be able to share these stories with these landowners is just nothing better. Deer moving. Yeah. These short pines are so hard to see through that it's like, by the time you see them. Yeah, it's pretty good. This is gonna be tough. I'm five. No, but there's a ton of deer underneath me. No, the ones I'm counting are pretty stationary and I haven't counted much more than the herd I'm on. Uh, two years. It is very simple. Oh, there's three there. Antlers, antlers, antlers. There's a shed. Uh... They're everywhere. That's everybody's pins, you know, over. Obviously, if we zoom in, you can see they're kind of over mm -hmm. the top of each other. But down here, there were actually a bunch of bucks in there that were shed bucks that okay. I could see. Come on, camera. Should have brought 
machines. Austin Miller. Nice to yeah, meet you, Austin. Nice to meet you. Beautiful place you have Thank here. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. How long have you had it here? So we built this in 2017. We uh, fenced everything in the beginning of 16. Okay. And then um, once we fenced everything in, it was sort of like whatever we caught in the fence yeah. is what we got to work with. Now it's been eight years later and we're producing some. Wow. So most bucks. of these here are from all from but the farm? on this wall right here, both sides, all but one. Wow. You know, obviously the mule deer aren't and yeah. stuff like that. but. Last year, my son shot that 190 inch deer in the middle with the arrow. Oh yeah? That was his first bow kill. Yeah, so I have everything mapped out. I was just had a question as far as like, I wasn't able to tell as far as like where you would recommend maybe good launch points, set up points. Um, sure. If they're, yeah. So we are We're right, there. right there, okay. You know, you get deer that are always traveling right through here. Yeah. This is a yeah. big area that you want to try to capture yeah. So what we can do, what I'll do is I'll send my two drone pilots out and we'll work the line. Actually, the, the, us four will all work this line together and work this way. Yeah. So we'll start and work this way. That way we're pushing everything into this corner, pushing everything in this corner. Um, and then we can kind of move up and, and finish off there. So, yeah. yeah. Goodness, right back here. So we got one, two, six. Ah, of course, that little pecker's a buck. All right, so the next doe's got to be marked a buck. These are all laying so far. Are you done? Yeah. As we finish this particular farm, I'm reminded of why I do this. It's not just about counting deer. It's about building trust, solving problems, and teaching others. This trip is part of our herd census mastery course, where I'm training hundreds of pilots to do this work efficiently, just like we did today. Austin, nice to meet you. Yeah. Basically looking at a map, looking like if we can just get a fairly central location, it should be small enough that we can hit it from, from one spot. Okay. Um, so I don't know if you kind of have a high point or something like that that we could work off of. And then if we need to hit some section, you know, towards the end or whatever, we can move. Yeah, let's just, yeah. Rob's gonna meet us up there. Okay. We'll just go to a high point in the middle. Sure, that'd be great. Try to get it knocked down. Yep. As the sun sets on this day, it isn't an end, but a beginning. The sky holds endless possibilities where dreams take flight and become reality. Packing up my drone, I think back to where I started. Just a guy with love for adventure, now living it out every day. From finding lost pets and deer, to teaching pilots how to master herd census or fly their drone, this journey has been more than I ever dreamed. At Drone Deer Recovery, we're not just about flying drones. We're helping people chase their own dreams one flight at a time. It's about